Hey, it's Ryan Skaggs for the Mortgage Minute. Today, we're going to talk about should I pay off my mortgage? Let's all hope we get that scratch off ticket. We got a couple hundred grand, and I'm going to give you that answer next. All right, guys. Hey, it's Ryan Skaggs. Thanks so much for tuning into the Mortgage Minute. This channel is dedicated to everything real estate, mortgage, and interest rates. And first, we're going to dive into those interest rates. So Freddie Mac puts out a weekly survey. I quote it. I look at it daily. Um, check out that link below to be able to see the weekly survey from Freddie Mac on where the average 30-year fixed. Uh, while you're down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I'd be forever grateful for the subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified as I'm putting out weekly videos on the channel. So now into those interest rates, dot, 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 3.10. So 3.10 is your average 30-year fix, according to Freddie Mac. Basically, we've been pretty flat over the last three weeks after a nice little jump up um, from the market. So um Again, all that details down on the link below. Today, we're going to really talk about should I pay off my mortgage if you do have that luxury or that opportunity to pay down the mortgage significantly. If that's maybe a big bonus from work or you know your cryptocurrency went from 50 cents to $500 per, right? Whatever that may be. If, it's, if you're thinking about a lump sum payment against a mortgage, I just want to conceptualize what that might look like for you. So I'm going to take you onto my screen right now, and I'm actually going to blow it up even more. And while we're over here, I want you to think about the concept, not the exact numbers, but the concept of doing so. So in this case, we've got a $250,000 home. Uh, we could put 20% down in this first column. We could put $150,000 down. We could put $200,000 down, or maybe we could pay it off entirely, right? So this would assume like, hey, if I'm going to buy this property, I'm just going to put kind of the small amount down. Now, what I want you to consider is that in this case, what my assumption is, is that you are going to be able to have a home appreciation of 2%, 2%, and you're going to be able to earn 3% on your money. So let's assume you have 250 k that exact price of the home. You could pay it off. You could just put the minimum down. You know, you could do whatever, right? So if you earn 3% on your money, and the house uh, appreciates at 2% on average over the next 10 years. That's what this number is about. If you think that's high or low, put those comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. I think 3% is a pretty low number in terms of a 10-year period. Um, but with that said, let's dive in. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom, and I'm going to bring you back over so that way you kind of can see the full screen. And this is the net worth in 10 years. Your net worth in just putting the 20% down is upwards of 500K. Again, this is all projections. You need to talk to a CPA, talk to a financial advisor uh, you know, to get their projections. I am not one of those people, but yet I can give you some illustrations on what that might look like. So this bottom part is what the home is worth. The top part is where your money has appreciated or moved. So in those cases, your money of say 200,000, we start at 250, we put 50,000 in the property, that 200 is up above 337 by the time um, 10 years has passed. So if you look at it, by paying off the mortgage, your net worth is less and less because, because, and again, this is the concept I want people to think about is that that money is earning, get it out there and let it earn. Mortgage debt is good debt. It's low right now absolutely at historic lows if you look at a chart over the last 50 years. So again, should I pay off my mortgage? That's really a question for your CPA, for your financial advisor, for your loan officer. If you don't have um, all three of those, to be honest, like uh, people trusted in your circle, go out and get them. Go ask for referrals because you know when you make these financial decisions, if you look at that chart again, if you would have paid that home off, it would have appreciated at 2% every year you'd be worth about 300K of total net worth. That's great, right? But would you rather be worth 300 or 500K in this illustration, right? Um, so in 10 years, it can make a significant difference for you and your family. So um, not saying it's it's right to, to not pay it off for, for anyone, but as a whole, my recommendation ends up being, you know, eight or nine out of 10 times, I'm saying, hey, I wouldn't put it towards it. I'd do something else with it. I'd, you know, kind of push that money into retirement or, you know, push that into the market or something else that you could potentially earn a higher uh, return on your money. So again, this is Should I Pay Off My Mortgage from Ryan Skaggs on the Mortgage Minute. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
Put your comments below. Let me know what you think. You think we're going to be able to earn 3% over the next 10 years? You think home prices are going to appreciate it too? I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. So thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see each other again very, very soon.